Hey everybody, today we're going to be exploring the old railroad ghost town of St. Thomas, Nevada. It was once buried under the waters of Lake Mead, but with the recent drought, the waters have started to recede and the ruins from the old town are starting to emerge. Mormons were the first settlers who arrived in the area around 1865. They thought they were still within the Utah boundaries, but in the early 1870s, a state boundary survey placed the town in Nevada. The Mormon community decided to return to Utah. They burned the town down to the ground and left. Around 1880, other settlers moved in. In 1912, the Union Pacific Railroad came to town and soon a highway was also built. The railroad branch ran from Moapa, past Overton, ending in St. Thomas along the confluence of the Virgin and the Muddy Rivers. St. Thomas became a popular stop between Los Angeles and Salt Lake City. The town was estimated to be as large as 200 acres. The temperatures here in the summer months can reach 115 degrees. Surprisingly though, at its peak, an estimated 500 residents lived and thrived here. There was a school, post office, grocery store, church, and an ice cream shop. In the 1930s, one of the largest construction projects of the century, Hoover Dam, was built. An estimated 100 lives were lost during the construction. On September 30, 1935, they started to release the waters from the dam. The train tracks were relocated to the high water shoreline called Mead Lake. The cemetery was moved to Overton. It took two years for the whole town of St. Thomas to be covered over by the waters. The post office closed in June of 1938. That's when the town officially ceased to exist. Hugh Thomas was the last resident to leave as he paddled away from his home. It's said that the waters reached a height of 60 feet above where the town had once been. The Hoover Dam project had created the largest man-made lake in the world at the time. Fast forward about 90 years, this is the road into St. Thomas today. This is the trail. So you can see it's a nice big trail, pretty even. Here, some remains of the sunken Union Pacific Railroad line can be seen. This looks like um, from an old motor. You can see GM marked on there. Keep hearing the wild burrows out here. We saw a lot of evidence that they're here. We haven't seen any yet. This used to be the ice cream shop. This is part of an underground storage. You can't see down there, but it goes for a long ways.
Here's some old collectibles of the town that people have left for others to see. Set them aside here for everybody else to look at. Everywhere you look, there's shells. According to Google, these shells are the carcasses of Asian clams abandoned by the retreating lake. They're native to southern and eastern Asia and Africa, and no one knows exactly how they got here. Behind me out here, uh, I think this was the schoolhouse. You can see parts of the school that are still intact. So this used to be buried underwater, under uh, Lake Mead. It's amazing it survived so long. Well, that was worth the hike down here. Very interesting to see all these foundations that are still, um, you're still able to go see. That's all they are is foundations, but it's still neat because this was buried underwater for so many years. So the hike's easy, two and a half mile loop. If you like exploring, it, uh, you might like coming out here and seeing this. By the end of our hike, the weather started to cloud up, and by the time we made our way back to the highway, water was rushing alongside us. We're gonna head back to camp now. Take care. Bye. Fargo, give up everything that I own. Yeah, I'd give it all up now just to be with you somehow. Unexpected love was found